you're here, which means, what's going on with Matt? Uh, I mean, I can't say anything. I can only give winks and nods. That's all I'm gonna. If MTV's still putting me to work, I mean, that's. I mean, just. Uh, just this, oh, totally whatever. Together. No, we're together. We're together. Time we're together. Double act today. Yeah, we're good. All right, son. Time to go. I was like, I'm a zombie, so that's that's what that means. Yeah. That's what we were just talking about. How relative death is. It's not relative in uh, in Team Wolf. So. Look, if you. He did a fantastic job. Thank you. And everybody loved him. They were like wowed, and and so it's. I mean, I don't know, but it's <laughs> completely conceivable that he's. You know, people want him to see him more, so they go, "Well, you want to see him more." And then we go, "Okay, now he's not dead. Who knows?" Yeah. Who but knows? he doesn't have like 24 episodes now in season three, so it's, it's like crazy. Yeah, yeah that's 20, great. 24 here, right, in California, or 24? I don't know exactly what's happening with that. Well, I hear, what I told that we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot 12, we're gonna take a little mini break, and then do another 12. Uh, as opposed to doing a full nine-month season because it's so involved and it takes so long to write the scripts. And I just don't think that they can get enough of them pre-prepared in the time frame that they need. And, you know, we have a lot of stunts and a lot of... A lot of special effects people, and yeah, things. We're thrilled. We're flattered that people like it enough and that they thought to do that. It's great. Tease anything about what's coming up or what you want to happen to your character? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll tell you. I'll, this, I'll tease you with this. I think I would guess that Lydia is going to have a huge romance with someone unexpected. That's just a complete guess. I would guess that Matt's going to come back as a zombie, or 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 um, a twin brother who's just totally That's awesome. That's always a good one. Yeah, twin brother. Hey, there's a new kid in town at the diner. He looks like Matt. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Charles. Charles. That we weren't on the same page there. Just yeah. that easy. People go, oh, okay. Yeah, that's Joe. Yeah. yeah, I'll buy that. Totally. Pop chips. <laughs> Pop <laughs> like the Canimo Alpha that we're all teased in the finale. Because, you know, according to what Peter and Derek's reaction was, it's pretty scary. Can we expect to see that? Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I think they may come up with another idea I'm not again we're, we're literally guessing we, we actually we're we're guessing as much as the fans are guessing so yeah. I would I would guess that not though because it's fun to see something new and more mysterious I want to see something with wings wings would be nice yeah, yeah. yeah why not? wings are good yeah wings are great <laughs> I can see that <laughs> Being in a show for you. Okay. Go ahead. Surprising part. Um, I've gotten some very interesting fans lately. Um, very, very interesting fans. Where? I've got some really fantastic fans in a good way. I have a couple here and there who have supposedly broken the boundary of my house when I'm not home and stolen some underwear. I kid you not. And then I was told about this on Tumblr, of all places, and a couple of other things. It's kind of creepy. There was somebody posing to be uh, Colton at one point, and no, 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 trying to basically this one random person. I don't know who it was. They sent me a text a couple months back, being like, "Hey, it's Colton. Here's my new number." I didn't think anything of it. I've been texting this person, thinking it was Colton the entire time, and then one night they're like, "Hey, come over," and then I saw that he was tweeting from the Bahamas. I'm like, "This makes no sense. Right. I don't understand this." And I call it up, and it's just some girl named Tiffany, and she's like. I'll tell you what, Tiff, A plus for effort. Yeah, if good you're job. watching, that's good. I'm really not proud of you, but I'm proud of you at the same time. Beyond the uh, extreme fans, the, fa the the most surprising thing for me is how active and um, passionate the fans are. People, other fans like other shows. Team Wolf fans love Team Wolf. Like sure. they beyond love it, and it's important to them. It means something to them. And that is that doesn't happen a ton, so that's it's rewarding and cool, and I like that. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, yeah I love it. You <laughs> actually have serious answers. Other people are like, so what's going on with it? You're like, so what's going on with Matt? What's going on now? I need to know what's going on with Peter. It's great. <laughs> My final question: Since you guys don't really know what's happening, how about we give you a wand and you can tell the writers to write anything you want for your characters? What would that be? Uh, I would write a, um, like a, what do you call it, 
like a uh, when something's the same, it should. I'm just I gonna would, do I hand would, gestures I would take, until he. Uh, the story of Othello and the two families uh, and the main characters, and I would I would put them onto the main characters, and I would divide the city like that, and I would do a parody. Not parody. Yeah, I guess parody. I would do a parody of Othello. I think that would be amazing. I'm writing this down. Don't worry. Uh, this is a lot better than my. A lot better than my. I'd, I'd take the turn of Terminator. Have a couple cyborgs come in. You know, why not? You know, I really love to mix things up. Werewolves and cyborgs. I mean, they don't have that on Twilight, so why don't why don't we have that? Come on. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. <laughs>